right now. Welcome to the presidential suite of the Ducit Tiny Manila. Come on in. Do you like what I've done to the place? So it's, uh, as you can see, it's, uh, um, it's, uh, it embraces uh, something that's very important to me, which is the idea of luxurious opulence. And um, I'm now struggling to think of a president who is at the moment presidential, who's actually glamorous enough for this place. You know, when you think about them all, they're all a, bit, a little bit scruffy. Um, I think um, I ought to start working with the Ducitani to sort of, I don't know, maybe start, uh, uh, maybe start actually looking at, we should, we should go through a list of presidents and decide who, who would live up to something like this. Um, I think, in fact, even Her Majesty the Queen of England might look a little bit dowdy compared to the wallpaper. I have a lot of uh, uh, places in which to run the world, as you can see. Um, this is uh, uh, the centre of my operations for the House of Lawrence. Or should I ever want to become a Bond villain, this is almost certainly where I'll take over the world. And then it all starts getting quite untidy about there. I don't think you want to meet my pants and dirty socks. Um, but uh, it is, um, it really is incredibly elegant. Um, um, one of the lovely things is to actually be able to look out of the window and see the um, amazing pace of life of Manila, the watching the buildings grow uh, almost like the, um, in stop animation has been fascinating. Um, the only thing that I am uh, slightly, slightly disappointed about is the fact that neither of those two chairs fit into my carry-on baggage. So I'm going to have to leave them, which is a shame. But uh, I'm going to find, I'm going to make my life's mission to get something similar for my own place back home.